Greetings, everyone. It's great to have you back on my channel. In today's episode, we're delving into the fascinating life of the talented actor and comedian, Jimmy Walker. Widely recognized for his iconic portrayal of J.J. Evans on the beloved CBS sitcom, Good Times, Walker left an indelible mark with his unforgettable catchphrase, Dynamite. But there's so much more to his story. Beyond the laughter, we'll explore his venture into stand-up comedy, delve into his intriguing political views, and even touch on the intriguing rumors surrounding his connection with conservative pundit and Coulter. Uh, join me on this journey as we navigate uh, through the highs and lows of Jimmy Walker's remarkable career in the entertainment industry and beyond. Uh, it's a story filled with laughter, challenges, and unexpected twists that you won't want to miss. Pindescent James Carter Walker Jr., born June 25, 1947, is an American actor and comedian. He portrayed James Evans Jr., J.J. Day, the older son of Florida, and James Evans, Esther on the CBS television series, Good Times, which ran from 1974 to 1979, and was nominated for a Golden Globe Award in 1975 and 1976 for his role. While on the show, Walker's character used the catchphrase dynamite, which he also used in his mid 1970s TV commercial for a Panasonic line of cassette and eight track tape players. And uh, 2021, 2023 Medicare commercial. He also starred in Let's Do It Again with John Amos and the greatest thing that almost happened with James Earl Jones. Walker continues to tour the country with his stand-up comedy routine, three less. Uh, Jimmy Walker was born in Brooklyn, New York, based in the Bronx. He attended Theodore Roosevelt High School in New York City. It was during his formative years that Walker started to develop an interest in education and later pursued his studies through a New York State funded program called Seek, Seek for Education, Evaluation, and Knowledge. Through Seek, Walker continued his education and eventually entered the field of radio engineering with YVR. This marked the beginning of his journey into the world of media and entertainment. Radio engineering involves working with the technical aspects of radio broadcasting, including the operation and maintenance of broadcasting equipment. Aside from his educational pursuits, Jimmy Walker had a unique early job experience. As a young man, he worked as a vendor at Yankee Stadium, uh, role he began during the 1964 World Series. Working as a vendor at a major sports venue like Yankee Stadium would have given him a first-hand experience of the energetic atmosphere of sports events and the opportunity to interact with a diverse range of people attending the games. These early experiences, both in education and work, laid the foundation for Jimmy Walker's future endeavors in the entertainment industry journey from radio engineering to becoming a well-known actor and comedian is a testament to his diverse talents and the varied experiences that shaped his career. Career. In 1967, Walker began working full-time with Rovier, the radio station of the Riverside Church. In 1969, Walker began performing as a stand-up comedian and was eventually discovered by the casting director for Good Times after making appearances on Rowan Martin's Laugh in and on the Jack Parr show. He eventually released one stand-up comedy album during the height of his good times popularity. Dino Might on Buddha Records, I-1635. During good times 1974-75 season, Walker was 26 years old, though his character was much younger. Uh, John Amos, the actor who portrayed Walker's father on good times, was actually just eight years older than Walker. Walker credits producer director John Rich for inventing dynamite, which Rich insisted Walker say on every episode. Both Walker and executive producer Norman Lear were skeptical of the idea, but the phrase in Walker's character caught on with the audience. Off. And on camera, Walker did not get along with the series he's led Esther Roll because she and Amos disapproved of Walker's increasingly buffoonish character and his popularity, and Walker felt hurt by their disdain. Dissatisfaction led Amos before Roll to leave the show, making Walker the star of the show. Walker was the only good time star to not attend Roll's funeral, personal life. There are some aspects of Jimmy Walker's personal life and his views on certain social issues. Let's delve into these points in more detail. <laughs> Marital and family studies. Uh, according to Jimmy Walker's appearance on the Wendy Williams show in 2012, uh, he revealed that he has never been married and has not fathered any children Instead, he mentioned having had many girlfriends throughout his life. This aspect of his personal life suggests a choice to remain unmarried and without children, focusing on relationships without formalizing them through marriage. Um, rumored relationship with Ann Coulter. 
In 2017, rumors circulated about Jimmy Walker being in a romantic relationship with conservative pundit Ann Coulter. However, Coulter addressed these rumors through a tweet in which she clarified that they were best of friends and there was no romantic involvement. This highlights the scrutiny and speculation that celebrities often face regarding their personal lives and how such rumors can be debunked by statements from those involved. Views on gay marriage. Uh, Jimmy Walker expressed his stance against gay marriage on moral grounds. However, he also mentioned that despite his personal beliefs, he believed in the legalization of gay marriage and stated that it wasn't worth fighting against. Now, this reflects a separation between personal beliefs and the acknowledgement of societal changes and legal advancements. It's not uncommon for individuals to have personal beliefs that may differ from their views on legal matters or societal norms. These aspects provide a glimpse into Jimmy Walker's personal values, choices, and how he navigates the intersection of his personal beliefs with broader societal issues. <laughs> Jimmy Walker's political journey, as revealed through various interviews and appearances, reflects a dynamic and independent perspective. His decision not to vote for Barack Obama in both the 2008 and 2012 elections showcased a willingness to break from traditional voting patterns, emphasizing his pragmatic approach to politics, describing himself as a realist independent. In a CNN interview, Walker indicated a preference for evaluating political issues on their individual merits rather than aligning strictly with a particular party or ideology. His opposition to affirmative action further underscores his nuanced political stance, emphasizing a critical evaluation of policies and their effectiveness. Uh, in 2017, Walker's appearance on Fox News revealed a shift in his political preferences as he openly expressed support for Donald Trump. His statement, I'm for probably 90% of the things he does suggests a level of agreement with Trump's policies and actions. Now, this endorsement marks a departure from his previous stance and highlights the fluid nature of political beliefs, illustrating how individuals can evolve in their views over time based on their assessment of specific leaders and policies. Walker's political journey underscores the importance of recognizing the complexity and individuality of political perspectives beyond the confines of traditional party lines. Net worse, uh, Jimmy Walker. A prominent American actor and comedian has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry, notably through his role as James Evans Jr. JJ on the CBS sitcom Good Times from 1974 to 1979. His uh, fame skyrocketed with the creation of the iconic catchphrase Dino Might T on the show. Despite his considerable success, Walker's net worth is estimated at $800,000. While this figure might seem modest compared to some of his contemporaries, it reflects the financial landscape of his career and endeavors. Jimmy Walker's journey extends beyond the small screen. As he ifened into stand-up comedy in the late 60s, showcasing his comedic prowess with a portfolio boasting over 50 acting credits, including notable films such as Let's Do It Again 1975 and Airplane uh, 1980, as well as television projects like At Ease 1983, and Bustin' Loose 1987, 1988, Walker has demonstrated his versatility in the entertainment realm. In 2012, Walker added author to his list of accomplishments with the publication of his memoir, Dynamite, Good Times, Bad Times, Our Times. While his net worth was estimated to be $1.05 million in that year, it's essential to recognize that net worth figures can fluctuate due to various factors, including market conditions, investments, and career development. Nonetheless, Jimmy Walker's enduring contributions to the entertainment world, coupled with his diverse talents, continue to solidify his place in the industry. As we conclude our exploration into life of Jimmy Walker, I hope you found this deep dive both insightful and entertaining. If you enjoyed the content, consider showing your support by giving the video a thumbs up to stay updated on future captivating stories. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Your subscription ensures you won't miss any of our upcoming content. I'm always eager to hear from you, so drop your suggestions for the next celebrity um, or topic you'd like us to cover in the comments below. Uh, your input guides the direction of this channel, and I appreciate your active participation in our community. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay tuned for more fascinating stories right here on my channel.